What's up guys, the Penfers here and welcome to hopefully a brand new squad building challenge. The Del Piero Legend SBC has run out, so we are hoping for a new Mark Overmars. Yes! Mark Overmars is there. You need Irdivisi, Arsenal, Netherlands and La Liga Santander. And you're going to be picking up a Mark Overmars for 20 games. There are 30 days to complete the Mark Overmars squad building challenge. EA, man. Props to EA. Guys, drop a thumbs up on the video for EA. And mainly for me, because it helps boost my channel and gives me subs and views and such. But, yo, Mark Overmars squad building challenge. So, first thing is first. You're going to have to get a, an, an, an Irdivizi squad. Go ahead, Eagle players 2, Willem players 2, Ajax players 5, and 11 Irdivizi players. So, let's go and see who we've got to see if we've got enough of these in the club. We go to Netherlands. So Ajax, we need five. Should be good. Oh, I've got five. Perfect. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to do these with players in my club, but you guys will probably be able to get them uh, a little bit uh, cheaper. Next up, we had Go Ahead Eagles. I only have one Go Ahead Eagles player, and I think you needed two. And what was the other? Uh, what was the other? Willem the second. There you go. Willem two. And I don't have anyone from Willem two. So. Um, it, it doesn't even have to be gold. It just has to be chemistry. So let's go and have a look for Willems 2 and Go Ahead Eagles and see how cheaply we can get any of these. Because I, like the, the squad builder challenges have just started. So the market might still be good enough for me to be able to pick these up uh, relatively cheap. Uh, let's go Netherlands Club Go Ahead Eagles. What a great name for a team as well. Let's go like this. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh my god, you've got to be joking. We're looking at 5k for these dudes. Oh god. They are, like, they're going to be extinct. The Go Ahead Eagles players are going to be fully extinct. They're, they're already that go That is ridiculous. You can't, you've got to be joking. I'm not going to be able to finish the squad building challenge. I'm going to have to pick them up for 10k. He's, he's definitely gone. I'm, I'm just going to buy him for 10k. I'm just going to have to. Someone's just won the lottery there. I've bought a bronze Go Ahead Eagles player for 10,000 coins. Um, and I already had one, which was fortunate. Now we need Willem the second. Hopefully these guys have some gold players because then they won't be going... Ex oh, God. All right, so we need two of these dudes. So we'll buy him for 7.5k. Okay, maybe not. I'm just, I'm just going to have to go and buy him for 10k again. It, this is so expensive. This is so expensive. So we'll buy him for 10k. And we'll buy him for 10k. And um, <clears throat> that's going to be us done for the squad building challenge. That is crazy. I've already invested 30,000 coins into this Mark Overmars squad builder challenge. Now, I want to let you guys know, because some people will be sitting there thinking, I'm never going to be able to afford that. Bear in mind, it's just gone live. So the player price is going to be at that absolute maximum, right? Also, you can get these players by doing the squad building challenge upgrades, bronze pack method style, and from uh, just waiting. Just just wait wait your time out. You know, wait as much as you can. Um, hopefully, you'll get them in foot champions packs and things like that. Um, right, we need him. We need... Uh, what? Where are the other dudes? We need him and we need him. Now, hopefully, I'll be able to get this to 100 chemistry. Otherwise, I could be in a bit of trouble. So, we've got centre-back... Centre back, centre mid. Uh, we've got a cam going in there as well. We've got ZH. I'll, I'll convert some players if I need to. I don't mind converting. We'll throw him in there. Ajax players needs to be five, so we can throw ZH in there. In fact, if let me put that centre mid in there. Um, we'll put the centre back at left back. We'll put the striker in at striker. And we'll put. Actually, I'll put the CDM in at centre defensive midfielder. Let me throw this guy up in here. I don't know if I'm going to get enough chemistry here, guys. Now I just need any uh, Eredivisie players. It doesn't make any... Do we not have a single goalkeeper? That's crazy. So I'm going to have a right back. Right, have a right back. We'll go with uh, Krasdorp here. Um, so we need one more Eredivisie player and the chemistry. And I'm not going to get it. I'm going to have to convert. I'm going to have to convert some people. Otherwise, we could be in trouble. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Now, I can get two chemistry out of these. Let me go get the goalkeeper. I, I just need any Eredivisie goalkeeper. I might have to go and buy 
a rand like an Ajax left wing. Um, in fact, let me let me do that. Let me go and get an Ajax left wing because it's five Ajax players, which should make it a little bit easier. Um, they shouldn't. Be, hopefully, it's not going to be too expensive. Yeah, one point. Uh, there we go. I'd, I'd much rather buy 1.3k for the Ajax left wing. And uh, let me actually just put the. Um, let me do that. Nothing there. Oh god. Oh god. No, I'm not. I'm not spending three, four, five thousand coins on an Ajax left wing. Okay, I am. I'm buying him for four thousand coins just for just for you guys. I'm doing this for you guys so you can see the Mark Overmars squad building challenge. So we've got him in there, and then we need just any goalkeeper from the era, the Vizi. And I am not like a thousand coins is my limit here. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Oh, perfect. We can just get a bronze guy. Perfect. You don't need gold. Where you don't need gold, you don't need gold. So don't buy gold. Buy 200 coin bronze players if you can get 200 coin bronze players. Now we go back to single player, back to the squad building challenge. Um, what I'm going to do probably as well is sell the Ajax player that I don't need. Oh no, wait. Netherlands. I might keep... I might get rid of a... I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, let me go to the league again. Yeah, I wish it just automatically got, gave you the league that you need. Um, so we'll take him and we'll take our bronze. Go I can't believe I don't have a single goalkeeper in this whole set of uh, set of players. So we'll throw him up there. That's now we need this guy in instead of an Ajax player. So we'll throw him in there and we'll throw the goalkeeper in there. And that is us done. And we'll see how much we can. He's untradeable. Brilliant. Uh, any is this guy tradable? He is tradable, right? Let's sell Gudelj. He's not going for much. Do we still get the chemistry with him? Well, if we do that, there we go. Right, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna list Gudelj up on the transfer market. Hey, if I can make some money, I'll make some money. First one done, guys. We get a jumbo premium gold pack, so we get a 15k pack for that, and we spent what about 40,000 coins. Definitely not worth it, but I've done it. Now we need the Arsenal team exchange a mix of players. With three Arsenal players, players from the same league is minimum five, nationalities is minimum six, team overall rating is 79. So you basically need BPL players here, don't you? You're going to need a full BPL team, or possibly not, but it would be um, it would be wise. Now, because you need rating, it kind of gives value to a lot of these players. So we'll go with Ospina, we'll go with Coquelin, and we'll go with uh, Mertesacker is too high rated in my opinion. Although I've got only high rate. We'll go with Danny Welbeck as well. Kieran Gibbs also is pretty damn cheap right now. So we'll throw Welbeck up front. Uh, we'll throw Ospina in there. And we need six nationalities. Which is good because we already have three done. So the Arsenal one should be quite easy. Because now you just want to go BPL relatively cheap. Obviously you need it to be 79 rated. And you need some different nations. So what we'll do is we'll look at our low end BPL players that aren't really worth much. Davies or Taylor. Taylor would be quite good. Uh, we'll throw Taylor in there. We'll take a look at the prices afterwards as well. Centre-backs. Um, definitely got some cheap centre-backs again, like Clavan from uh, <coughs> from Liverpool. Cameron from Stoke would be a good one. They might not be good enough for the team rating at 79. We'll, we'll take a look at that at the very end, <coughs> and we'll change what we need to change. Um, Michael Carrick and Johan Kabai as well would be good CDMs. Um, we already have, obviously, Coquelin, but I only need six nationalities, so we're in a good spot right now. Um, Rang Angel Rangel, I don't know if the rating is going to be quite enough here. We're at 72 already. Uh, bear in mind with the cams, guys, you can use centre mids or you can use strikers and convert them to centre forwards. Um, Gaston Ramirez is a good one. Steven Island is also a really good one. And uh, we'll use Henriksen as well. We'll take a look at the rating here, see if it's enough. It's enough. There you go, guys. So we only have one, two, three players over 79 rated to make this a 79 rated team. I don't understand how the rating works. I just want to give a quick check on the player prices of these dudes to make sure they're cheap enough. Right, 750 maximum for Taylor. Happy days. Clavan, I wouldn't expect him to be much more than seven or 800 either. Um... There's one there for 1250, yeah, 950. There you go. So you're looking at less than a thousand for Clavan. And this is for a prime gold players pack as well. That's solid. Cameron there, um, 1000 max, 900 max, 750, 700. Perfect. So um, he's good as well. Uh, Johan Kabai should be a good shout for us as well. There you go. A thousand coins maximum for him. And he's actually, <coughs> excuse me, he'll be important to the team as well because of that 81 rated card. So a thousand coins for Johan Kabai. Is, uh, is solid. 600 maximum for Angel Rangel is perfect. And then I just, 
The reason why I think these cams will be super cheap is because people will see 79 rated and then see like for the team rating and then see a 76 rated cam and be like, whoa, like he's he's not good enough. So they won't anticipate that you can use him. However, Steven Island, because he's Irish, might be worth a little bit more because of the expected um, Island squad building challenge. But you're still looking at a, a thousand coins max. Um, you can you can use any cam that you want in space of Steven Island if you can't afford uh, if you can't afford him or don't want to waste the cash. Um, then we look at Gaston Ramirez. He's actually got a really good card this year. I use him in my uh, squad building uh, Road to Glory. There you go, a thousand. He hasn't even got a bid on him for three fifty. And uh, this dude can't imagine he's worth too much. Henrik's in there, eight hundred maximum, easy, easy as you like. So this team is super cheap. The uh, the expensive players will be Ospina, Coquelin. And Danny Welbeck, uh, untradeable for me. Danny Welbeck is tradable. Let's just have a let's have a, a cheeky look at how much he's going for. 1,600, 2,500, 2,300. Yeah, so he's even he's cheap, like less than 2,000 coins. But that is that one done, guys. We get a prime gold players pack for that. So uh, that one's quite easy, quite cheap. The Iridivisie is quite expensive. Liga Santander, this might be quite difficult because you need three Barcelona players. Um, let's go and have a look at what cheap Barcelona players there are. There are a few, uh, bear in mind, wait, I've gone way past La Liga. Um, there are a few Barcelona players, bear in mind, that are going to be super, super cheap. And if any of you got any untradeables, happy days. Uh, Suarez, Digne, Roberto, Vidal, <coughs> excuse me, all cheap. Um, Ter Stegen is like 600 coins, Rafinha is cheap. Um, now I don't need all of these players, obviously. Um, but we will use, so what do we need? Um, exactly gold, ma players from the same nation, maximum of five. I guess that's just to stop you doing for, like a full Spanish team. But we can throw these Barcelona boys in um, on the left-hand side. You need 11 Liga Santander players. So at this point, we just need Liga Santander players um, that are hopefully cheap. And we said with every single squad building challenge ever, these are super easy and because you only need gold it just specifies gold it doesn't specify anything else doesn't have a team rating you can literally just use the 75 rated super cheap super crap um fullbacks you want to get fullbacks and center backs with no pace because they're not worth anything so that'd be our defense there it just has to be gold and 100 chemistry it's quite easy and if you guys struggle i, I see still even even now a lot of people struggle with uh, the fact that loyalty chemistry is a thing you need, like, some of you might need loyalty on your players, which is this little green badge here. You get the loyalty badge either when you pack the player or when you play 10 games with the player. If you want a cheap, uh, oh, sorry, an easy, quick method to get the uh, the 10 games on the player, I do have a video called the No Loss Glitch in on my channel. Just search for it and you'll find it pretty quickly. So, again, you want to use the 75 rated here. This dude is perfect. Now, this guy might be expensive because of other squad building challenges. So, I'm going to check his price. We're looking at 800 coins there. Oh no, 1.5k max there. Yeah, no, he's fine as well. Um, so Liga Santander players is the maximum. And Liga Santander guys, look how many like look how many players we've got. Like there is just player after player after player. There is absolutely no need to spend much money on uh, on this here. Like if you if you're wasting money on here, you're an absolute idiot. So players from the same nation, maximum five. I've got. One too many Spanish players. Let's get rid of this right back and get a different, uh, a different, a non-Spanish right back in there. And it, we will go with this guy here. And I'll just double check, to, like randomly on this dude, to make sure he's not going for more than a thousand coins. Like no bid on him there at three fifty. Just goes to show. Yeah, there you go, six fifty. Easy, cheap, easy, perfect. Barcelona players is three. Now the Barcelona players, you might, you might have to spend a couple of k on each Barcelona player. Um, there are an abundance of them on the market, but yeah, you're looking at at least a thousand coins for Denis Suarez. Um, 1.9 max, like I say, about a couple of k is what you're probably looking for uh, for these dudes. And be careful when you're buying, because for example, you like somebody's going to spend like a thousand or two thousand coins on Roberto, 1900. People look for the common cards for these squad building challenges because the illusion is that the rare cards are more expensive. When in actuality the rare cards are quite often cheaper because people don't think to use them in the squad building challenges. For example, look at that Vidal there, not even selling for a thousand coins. He is a great guy to buy. You're going to spend way more money. Pro probably Digne is way, way more expensive than Vidal, or Digne if I've said his name wrong. Um, 
there's already a 1,000 coin bid on it. Also a 1,500. So yeah, you're okay. May, maybe you can get these Barcelona players for super cheap. This one, this entire squad here for a premium gold players pack should not cost you more than eight to 10,000 coins. Um, we'll send, submit that one in. We've got our fourth one done. Happy days. Now the last one is a Netherlands team. You're just going to need a full Dutch team, which might be quite difficult. Minimum three leagues. Minimum rating of 77. Now, there are probably a lot of Dutch players. Um, it just matters who you use and how you use them and how much you pay for them whilst trying to use them. Um, so we'll start with... Let me let me start with my untradables, actually, because I'm, I'm sure I've got an abundance of them I have. So I'm going to use just untradables that I don't think will be very expensive. And the reason why I don't necessarily think some of these will be very expensive is just because of how common they are due to how low rated they are. Um... Him and him. Uh, so we'll start with these guys. Now, some of these might be worth a bit. And if they are, <clears throat> then don't use them. Just use other Dutch players. The reason why I'm using these specific ones is because for me, they are untradeable. Which means they have absolutely no value to me other than if I were to play with them. And I'm ne like Bruma here. He might be worth 2k right now. I can't sell him. So I might as well get rid of him. Because I'm never, ever going to use him for anything else ever. Um, <clears throat> if that makes sense. Uh, so we've run out of uh, space for centre-back. So I need a goalkeeper who is Dutch. Let's have a look. Well, we'll use Stecklenburg. Stecklenburg's price might actually just boom a little bit. 400. If he's less than 1,000 coins still, I'll be very happy. 1,600. That's not bad. Looks like he's worth a, a fair amount. 1,300. That's really not bad. So, like, the, the, the problem with players like Stecklenburg is... He fits into too many squad building challenges, which just really drives his price up. 1,200 coins, 1,400 coins. So you could easily get away with not using Stecklenburg, but I'm going to use him because I've just got him in my club. But you're only going to have to pay like a 1,000 or so for him. Wait, I swear I had two Dutch right backs before. We'll wait We'll wait for that. We'll use a centre back. Right, Dutch striker. Uh, Jansen is a, a good shout there. Let's see, uh, make sure he's not like 3K or something. Yeah, 1.9 straight away. No one's even buying him. 350 bid. So you probably get Jansen for like a thousand coins or less. In at centre midfield, uh, Van Hinkle. Now Van Hinkle might be expensive. He's just always been a card that's always been quite expensive. No, again, you're looking at like 16, 1700 coins max, which in my opinion is absolutely solid. 1400 coins was one there. That's really good. Now let's have a look at cams because I'm going to need a uh, I'm going to need a cam somewhere in here. Uh, Afalai or Fur could use either of them. Uh, we'll go with uh, Ibrahim Afalai. We'll take a look at his price. Make sure he's not too, too expensive. Again, 1.8k. One now, these players are like, you know, they're quite expensive in terms of like the fact that you're just throwing these coins away. But 1,500 coins for a guy. Hopefully, a lot of you guys already got a lot of these players in your club from upgrade methods and stuff like that. Um, if not, if you do have to go and buy them off the market, then hopefully it doesn't cost you too much. Um, because that would be sad. This guy, 400 coins there. Open bid. 350 open bid. 1.7 max bin. So you're looking at maximum of like 1.7 for this guy. And you could probably get it for 1.2, maybe less than that. Maybe a 1,000 coins somewhere down the line. Um, and again, bear in mind, this squad building challenge, guys, is there for 30 days. So whilst you like, whilst you can get it for 1.3 now for Derun, if you wait a week, two weeks, three weeks, he'll be back down at like five, 600 coins. Because the majority of people, the bulk of people would have already completed these squad building challenges driving the price of these guys down now i've already completed the leagues the team rating and the chemistry which means i can put absolutely any dutch player any any dutch player doesn't even have to be gold any dutch player in that right back spot and i'm going to use any bronze or silver that i've got so i've got a uh got a silver dude here let me just make sure that he's not like some random guy that goes for like 10k for some strange reason yeah there you go 500 coins for him brilliant so we'll throw him in at right back and it keeps everything done. And that is us done, guys. So we have got this mark over Mars. Now, you could probably do this a little bit cheaper than me, especially for the Eredivisie players. Uh, I overspent on that one just because I wanted to get the players straight away to do it for you guys. We get a Prime Gold Players Pack, a Mark over Mars. Last time we did a Legend one, that Legend Mark over Mars is, mm, he's nice. Last time we did this for Del Piero, in my packs, I ended up packing a Legend. I packed my very first um, and only so far Legend. So we've got Jumbo Premium Gold Pack, two Premium Gold Player Packs, and two Prime Gold Player Packs. That's an amazing return. We have easily made money on this. Easily. Our first pack. Oh! Oh, Inform! Who is it? Who, who is that? Kal Kal Kalinic. Kalinic. That's a great pull. We get an Inform straight away. That's a great return. 
Oh, that's from just a premium gold pack as well. I bet this is this guy worth a lot because of uh, because he's from Brazil and from an obscure league. He's not. We'll send him to the club. We get an inform though, guys. That is amazing. What a start. Packing an inform straight away. I mean, it's, it's worth 12k, but. It's profit, and you know how he's worth 12k now. Watch when EA drop another squad building challenge that requires an informed card to be dumped into it. His price will go up to 20, 30, 40k. That's an amazing return, and some more players that might sell. This Argentinian, I bet this guy is worth a little bit because he's from an obscure league with a big nation. Yeah, look at that 1800 coin bid on him there. I'm just going to list him straight up. We'll get a few thousand coins back for him. Um, this Ramos will be worth a bit as well because Colombia is a good league to use for those nations too. Oh wow, he's actually cheap as hell. Um, we'll send him and uh, Punch into the trade pile and discard the rest of the stuff in the club. What a start to the packs, guys. What a start. We start off, and that's our, that wasn't even our player pack that we got informing. Great way to start things off. Next up, we get Dejan Lovren. Now, Lovren might be worth a bit again. Um, Pardo, Pardo could be worth a bit as well. Again, Colombian. 700 coin bid on him. Uh, what's his lowest bin? You know, may, maybe like 2,000 coins if we're lucky. Another Colombian as well. We get a, a Liga Nos midfielder also. Uh, 5k was there for him. 6k. Tell me he's worth 5 or 6k. No, 1.5k. Fair, fair, fair dues. Now, this uh, this MLS left back, he could be worth a little bit. Let's see what he's going for. Mm, may, may, maybe, maybe a couple of thousand coins. We'll list him up. And uh, that should be that for those. We also get Lovren and Origi in the pack. Um, we'll send all of these guys up to the trade pile and see if we can uh, we can sell them on. But Lovren will sell for a bit just because he's high rated BPL player right now. Right, another premium gold players pack. Let's see what we get. Come on, here, give us a big flare again. Nothing this time around. We get Brahimi. Oh no, Faguli. Sorry, Faguli, not Brahimi. I instantly assume it's Brahimi, but um, nothing decent going on here. Uh, we'll send Faguli and the others to the trade pile. A Brazi this Brazilian left mid from Bundesliga may be worth something just because of the uh, squad builder challenges that are available to us right now 2.4k may maybe a couple thousand coins again but it's, it's all money back you know it's all money back from what we spent right prime gold players pack guys no big pause there and not even a big flare let alone a huge flare we're gonna get ourselves Giovinco now Giovinco is not really worth much even though he's good for a squad building challenge he's not really worth that much we'll send these guys to the trade pile we've actually got a lot of good players here now I think this this guy maybe De Preville. No, he's not worth anything. I, I, I expect way too much out of my packs, I think. We'll send all of these guys to the trade pile anyway. If we can sell them, great. If we can't, we'll at least get discard value back for them. And then last but not least, we get no big flurry. How's that? The, the 15k pack is the pack that was worth the most to us. The 15k pack gave us the inform. None of these other packs gave us anything good. We get Jordan Henderson. We get Deli Ali in there. Not bad, I guess. We get that De Preville guy again. Um, we didn't get a single bar to play. We got nothing that fits into any squad building challenge, which is unfortunate. However, guys, we do now have Mark Overmars. What are these promo packs? 35k packs. Nice. Might do a video on those. Um, we do have Mark Overmars in the club. Um, I don't think we spent too much on it. I definitely think we made our money back and we got a free Mark Overmars, which is great. Good luck for you guys. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.